Hey there. Today, I'm going to show you something super cool. I'm going to show you how to do not only triple screen, not only four, but five screens. Because if you ask this guy right here, you like triple screens? You want another one? PFD, MFD? Clearly. But what if you want to do a fifth one? He doesn't have one. He's sad. But let me show you how to do it. So we all know the graphics cards have four outputs on the back and most of you are probably already using them. But there's a fifth one, if you've noticed, a little bit higher up on the back of the computer that belongs to the motherboard. That is what is called a integrated graphics card. So if you don't have a powerful graphics card and you only have the motherboard, it can do graphics and that's why it has an output. But for most of us that have bought an AMD or an Nvidia, that one is deactivated. So to do that, you have to go through quite a process. You have to activate it inside the BIOS, and I will show you how to do that. I have to warn you, you have to do this at your own risk. I will not take any responsibility for this because accessing the BIOS gives you access to a lot of settings that if you change could damage your computer. So this is what I did. This is an example. You decide what to do. So with that said, boys, let's go. Let me show you. All right, so go down to the start menu, power, and click on restart. When you do that, please make sure to keep hitting the delete key. Most motherboards, that is the hotkey that enters the BIOS. For some motherboards, it's a different one like F5 or F4. You'll have to do your research on the internet and I'm sure you'll find the right answer. So make sure to hit that delete key. Let's go. All right, here we go. Inside the BIOS on the left side, we see settings. So we're going to click on that. It brings up additional options. What we're looking for is advanced. Click on advanced. Here we see another set of options. Scroll all the way down to integrated graphics configuration. Click on that and look for IGD multi-monitor. Yours will be disabled. Click on it. Using your mouse, scroll down to enabled. And that's it, boys. I don't know if you guys noticed, but while in my BIOS, I noticed that my motherboard can actually overclock the CPU and it's right here in the corner it's called game boost i don't know what it does but it's a button and it's official and i told you i'm not going to take any responsibility for what you do but i'm going to click this button and i did there we go it's on i hope i get more performance and i didn't mess up the pc anyways that's how you do it oh before i forget make sure to hit the x up in the corner and apply all the settings and restart the computer all right boys so there we go we did it uh, one last thing I need to make sure that you understand. When you activate that new graphics card, it will not have any drivers. So at first it won't work and it will seem like all is in vain. But be patient, give it a moment, it's going to automatically update the latest drivers for that motherboard graphics card. Second, as you can see, I have my NVIDIA control panel open. Please make sure that you go back into your uh, settings and you tell it whichever GPU you want to use and of course you will want to use your Nvidia or AMD processor as your main processor same thing in 3d settings As you go through there are some options in here which require you to make sure to specify such as the OpenGL rendering Which one do you want to use because right now it might default to that new CPU that you opened up So this is not uh, the end of the world guys. You can do this. This is small potatoes, but yeah, you got five outputs and the last thing you want to do is right click on the desktop, display settings, and check that it shows up. I position mine right here because in context to my cockpit, this is exactly where it sits. Uh, but at first it won't show up. Uh, so make sure to scroll all the way down to the bottom and yours will be disconnected. So extend this display. All right, guys. So with that HDMI enabled, let's run a little bit of a test. First up, I hooked up my fourth screen to the HDMI on the graphics card. As we can see, I'm getting pretty decent performance. I'm actually pretty satisfied with this. You guys don't know this, but these are the numbers I get with or without the fourth screen attached. Now, moving on, I'm attaching that fourth screen to the CPU that we just enabled. And here we go. The results are quite surprising. You know, for the longest time it was expected that using the HDMI from the CPU would unload some of the graphical requirements from the GPU, therefore giving you a faster frame rate. 
Unfortunately, as we look here, the game has been optimized. I don't know what else to tell you. And as you can see, the difference is not big at all. It's within point frames per second. It's up to you. I would suggest you use the GPU. It seems to be just a hair ahead. But yeah, if you want to move on to five screens, then go ahead and use that CPU. I do predict that you will get a frame drop no matter what. If you're adding a fifth screen, that's that much more load on the computer. So please expect that you will lose some, but hey, you're going to gain five screens. And that's it, boys. Don't forget to subscribe. My next video should show you how I built my cockpit. See you next time.